Hey everyone, we're going to prove that 7 to the nth power plus 5 is divisible by 6 for all positive integers n. So, for all positive integers n. And we're going to rewrite the conjecture, um, restating the conjecture using the definition of divisibility. Dis Divisibility, sorry about that. So basically, we can rewrite it like this and set this to 6r. So that means if you divide both sides by 6, then that would say that's divisible by 6. So anyway, we're just going to write it like that. And then um, use the principle of mathematical induction to prove this. So our first step is going to be, um, this is our conjecture. And our first step, condition one, is to verify that S of N is um, valid for N equals 1. So basically, I'm going to plug in 1, and that equals 12, and 12 is definitely divisible by 6. So that checks out and it's valid. Okay, so what we want to do is um, show for step two or condition two that um, assume SN is valid for N equals K. So I'm going to rewrite this with K All right, and then I want to also show then it is also valid for n equals k plus 1. So, I'm going to change this to t. So t is for some integer um, r. Okay, so basically we want to show that this side looks like this side when we write it down. So I'm going to do that on the next slide, and basically what I'm saying is we're going to write the 7. We want it to look like 7k plus 1 plus 5, and what we have is we have 7 to the k power plus 5 equals um, 6r. So to get it to look like that, I noticed that 7 times 7 to the k equals 7k plus 1. So what I'm going to do is multiply both sides by 7. Uh, and what we're going to get is 7 times 7k, which we already know equals that, plus 35 equals um, 42R. Okay? Now, what I want to do is have a 5 here. So what I'm going to do, I want this side to look like this. So what I'm going to do is just subtract 30 from both sides. So on this side, we're going to get 7 um, to the K plus 1. I just rewrote that plus 5, which is what we wanted, equals this. And I'm going to go ahead and factor out a 6, and I'm going to get 7r minus 5. Now, I'm going to let this equal t, because this doesn't matter what this equals. We know that this is divisible by 6. So, if we have t equals 7r minus 5, and it's an integer, we have shown that s of n is valid is valid. And S sub N plus 1 is also valid. And so it's divisible by 6 for all integral values of N. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.